Good morning dear students. Today I am going to begin with the new topic and this is a poem Main Call You Fair and this is a famous sonnet by Edmund Spencer. This is the image of the poet. Now let me tell you about this poet. Edmund Spencer was born in East Smithfield, London. He is a renowned 16th century English poet and he is famous for his work The Fairy Queen. His other poetic works include Amoriti, Ephithalmian, Prothalmian, Astrophel, A Pastoral Elegy upon the death of the most noble and valorous knight Sir Philip Sidney. Now let me tell you about the poem. Men Call You Fair is a sonnet from the volume of poetry Amoriti. This volume has 88 sonnets. Spencer expresses his love for his beloved Elizabeth Bowell, the lady whom he loved and married in 1594. In Men Call You Fair, the poet talks about his concept of beauty in which he does not appreciate external appearance of his beloved but gives more importance to her wit and a chaste character. He praises virtuous mind and a chaste character and reveals that external beauty decays with time but the internal beauty of mind and character remains permanent and cannot be destroyed by the worms as the human body finds its place in the graveyard. Now, uh, let us begin uh, the discussion. Before uh, we begin the discussion on the poem, let me read the text first. Main Call You Fair by Edmund Spencer. Main Call You Fair, and you do credit it for that you yourself, you daily such do see. But the fair, but the true fair, that is the gentle wit and virtuous mind, is much more praised of me. For all the rest, however fair it be, shall turn to naught and lose that glorious hue. But only that is permanent and free from frail corruption that does flesh ensue. That is true beauty that does argue you to be divine and born of heavenly seed, derived from that fair spirit from whom all true and perfect beauty did at first proceed. In the first four lines of this poem, the poet says that he addresses to his beloved and says that men call her fair. He says to his beloved and says that she is very fair and she believes it. Credit means believe. And the meaning of the word fair means here beautiful. So the poet is saying here that the people call her beautiful and she believes it. And in the second line of the poem, the poet says that his beloved goes to the mirror, looks at her own image, and she is aware of her external beauty. But for him, what is true beauty? For him, the true beauty is her gentle wit, that is her wisdom. That is her intelligence, that is her honesty and virtuous mind that he appreciates more. So in his view, the poet says that the true beauty is not in the external appearance of his beloved, but he finds that true beauty in her gentle wit and virtuous mind. So this is his concept of beauty that he is talking about. So in the second stanza of the poem, the poet says, for all the rest, however fair it be, shall turn to naught and lose that glorious hue. So the poet is saying here that for the rest of the world, the external beauty is must. 
they appreciate and praise the external beauty of the women and they are after it but this external beauty turns to naught it turns to nothing the poet says that human body is subject to decay and with this passage of time we become old so the glorious you that we find on the skin is no more there it fades it becomes faint so what is permanent and free from this frail corruption the poet says here that virtuous mind and a chaste character are free from frail corruption of aging as the beauty of human body fades like the flowers untimely fade so according to the poet the true beauty is in her wit her wisdom her honesty and her chaste character and true beauty is not found in only external appearance that is the true beauty that does argue you to be divine so what is true beauty true beauty is your virtuous mind your gentle wit and this uh, this is the creation of some divine power this is the creation of some supreme power and that is born of heavenly seed and this heavenly seed is derived from god the spirit who created everything on this earth who created everything beautiful on this earth and the universe so this is how the poet is talking about his concept of beauty and he is saying that spiritual beauty is more than the external beauty spiritual beauty is the beauty of virtuous mind and a chaste character and this is born of heavenly seed and this heavenly seed is derived from divine god who created this universe who created this world and he made everything beautiful in it now let us move to the couplet what does the poet say here he only fair and what he fair hath made all other fair like flowers and timely fair the poet refers here to the god here the word he refers to god he says that the god who created this universe the god who created uh, uh, this earth the god who created nature and all the men and women or all other species is very beautiful so whatever he has made whatever he has created it is more beautiful but he uh, focuses on the point and that is the reality what is the reality that human beings are subject to death and they all become old like flowers untimely fade now let us move to the conclusion men call you fair is a love poem in this poem edmund spencer reveals that his beloved is very beautifully and she too is aware of her beauty men call her fair and she believes it why she believes it because she is aware of the fact that she is very beautiful she goes to the mirror every day looks at her own image and finds that she is more beautiful so for the rest of the world she is beautiful but for poet what is what is more important for the poet let us see what is more important he praises her not for her external beauty but for her wisdom intelligence honesty and a chaste character so this is what is this concept of beauty what is this concept of beauty gentle wit that is wisdom intelligence honesty and a chaste character so this is his concept of beauty that he talks about in this poem men call you fair he does no more give importance to the external appearance and the external beauty of his beloved he says that human beings are subject to decay as we all become old even uh, william shakespeare in his famous poem all the world is a stage talks about the last stage of life and that last stage of life is the second childhood what happens in that stage that women men become old 
they are they are without teeth they are without eyesight they are without test and sense and ultimately we all human beings die and uh, make an exit from this world so according to the poet uh, true beauty is the beauty of mind and a chaste character while the external beauty in human beings according to according to the poet fades decays and turns into dust at last but the beauty of mind and character remains permanent let us see how how does it remain permanent according to him spiritual beauty is divine it is created by god and it is derived from some divine power and hence it becomes a permanent source of worship so what do we worship we worship the beauty of the mind the beauty of the character and that is must in human life so his use of poetic devices leaves it words and striking imagery reveals how spencer gives prime importance to spiritual and intellectual beauty in a woman and finds that external beauty fades like flowers untimely fed so this is how the poet talks about his concept of beauty we must have to appreciate this concept of beauty even in uh, the poem la belle dame sans mercy what happens to the night he falls in love how does he fall he finds that lady is very beautiful but he does not know that that lady is without mercy so he falls in love without thinking whether that lady is the right kind of choice for him or not so he gives uh, more importance to external beauty and that's why he becomes a victim he is destroyed he uh, he feels alone he is deserted by her and ultimately he finds himself all alone on the cold hillside at the time of the year when there is no bird to sing the harvest is done and even uh, the squirrel has stored its food for winter here in this poem the poet gives prime importance to the beauty of the mind the beauty of the character and for him that is beauty that is divine that is spiritual beauty so this is all thank you very much